Hello people that know how is it doing today we're back promoting Calvin towns and villages. Um so thank you for the amazing support in this series. Uh, as I said it's only it's a voluntary series, you're not getting any funding from the local authorities for doing this. Or for many of them, you know, for many of the groups trying to promote this. So this is completely voluntary. Some people ask me was I do, was I getting paid for promoting them? No, I'm not getting paid. Um I'm doing this out of the kindness of my own house because these villages do have a lot to offer, these towns have a lot to offer people. For tourism and different things, and that's what I want to promote. I don't want these villages to die, um, off. I want them to, you know, prosper and you know have loads of tourists, as they should have, because there's so many historical places, in Cav, and you know people don't know about, it. and then, you know you don't see it in the papers, you don't see it in the newspapers, you don't see it anywhere, and you know I'm just trying to show the people, you know, give Cavan a chance. That's everything. So Black Lion, Black Lion in County Cavan, Black Lion is up, um. At the very top, near Leitrim, really near Leitrim. Actually, it's on the border between uh, the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. And it's a fun fact, you can actually go from uh, Black Lion and Cavan to the next town, which is what the, which is on a bridge, right? The border's on the bridge. And you know what they call that? There's a part of the world where it's just no, nobody, it belongs to nobody. It's just no man's land. Um, you know, it's a, part, it's a small part of the bridge. And then you're in the north. So you could just cross a bridge and you're in the Republic and you're in the north. Like, it's just mad. Um, and it's just one bridge. Like, you cross over, it just takes a minute. Literally, to walk the bridge. It's just mad. Like, if you put in that suspected, you know, when there's no borders. Back years ago, there was um, patrols and obviously there. Um, but it's, you know, it's... Like, one day I, wa I, went, I crossed over the line, obviously, to the north. And, you know, you don't find... You don't... Where you, where you, you know the roads are better. That's the one thing I have to say. You know the roads are better. As soon as you cross into Northern Ireland, it's better roads. Um, because, obviously, they're funded more better than they're up here because the cows do nothing around here. Um, so, yeah, no man's land. If anybody wants to do nothing in normal, uh, no man's land, it's only a small part of the world. But, anyway... But Black Lion is such a lovely place. It's a lovely river going through the Broken River, which is beautiful. I, like I have to say, there was there. It wasn't the best day when I was up there. It was a bit rainy, but it was still lovely. There were swans swimming down. It was, you know, it was really really nice. It was nice. Um, but that was before I done YouTube. But that's a while ago. Um, but it was nice. It was really really nice, and I enjoyed it. So they have a local GA club called Shannon GA, um, which is good. Which is really good too. Um, so there is bus services going from Cavan Town to Black Lion, uh, going up to Ellerskillen, obviously. So if you ever do, if you ever want to visit Black Lion, you know, go hop on a bus from Cavan Town and ha go up to uh, Black Lion for the day. And, it's, and just to say, there's beautiful mountains, there's around loads of mountains and, you know, it's beautiful landscape. Now we'll talk about that in a second, something really, really important that I'm going to leave out to last, just to make it more intense waiting for it. Uh, so it's Galva Station, sadly, it's only open half days. Um, which is, you know, really sad, to be honest, but that's the way we are out in Scott. You know, the, the clothes and gala stations are only open two days a week or three days a week. Uh, in this case, it's only open to three of them white. Um, but, yeah, so we're on to the next part. I don't know, I'd, there's not really much I could add, really. There's a lot of stuff I could have added, but, you know, I would have been here all night talking about it. So much, there's so much history in every town. Um, and I mean no offense to people in Black Lion, it's just so much to go through. Um, someone like I um, spent two hours in the night reading through articles, um, and that's only in one town. Like my God, um, just literally just reading through one town, um. So please just forgive me if I do mess up and like it's because <laughs> my my head was cuckoo after reading through all the about three or four slides of things, and there were big lobster of slides. Uh, so Cavan Bourne Park is near hand, and Cavan Bourne Park, the stairway to heaven, as they call it, too. You can walk. You can walk up the mountain. And it's you know it's very it's a long journey, but you can go really above the clouds too. And in in a sense, in a sense, I suppose you can say that. Not technically, but that's what they call it, the stairway to heaven. But it's a lovely place to camp in Bone Park. I, um, unfortunately, I was only I didn't walk it. I didn't go up the steps. Um, I was at the road and I seen you know I was looking up at the steps. I wasn't I wasn't you know I was in a hurry that day. Um, I unfortunately, but I'd love to go back and do it someday. Um, which I will, I will someday, I, I promise people I will go back up and we maybe might do it together, I don't know, we see. Um, but yeah, the Cavan Bone Park is a beautiful place. Um, and I say to people, you know, people often stop me and ask, where's Cavan Bone Park? And I say, you know, look for Black Lion. And when you get to Black Lion, you, you know, you're not too far away. Um, technically it's not in Black Lion, but it is near hand Black Lion, it's in the facility. I suppose you can use that word. But it's a beautiful place, beautiful area. Black Lion's a beautiful area. Um... 
the day I was up, you know, it was pretty rainy, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, the the lake's just beautiful. Like it's honestly just beautiful. Um, but that's where the every part of Ireland's beautiful. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, if I forgot anything, please just forgive me because there's a lot. The, believe me, I can't tell you the amount of research. You know how many how many hours I spent looking up. You know one town. Like I spent two hours in the night, and I spent you know two hours another night beforehand looking up more stuff. Like you know, it's a research. It's nearly it's like a project to be honest to me. Um, so four hours to spend with well, one in one town looking for more and more information, and you know you could be here. I could be here all day. You know, talk about one thing. Um. So yeah, so please if you have a chance, you know, go to Black Lion, have a swan, have a swan, have a swan, have a swan. Um. No, have a swan go around and see what's the story. And you know, maybe just you cross over and pretend you're North Korea and South Korea and just cross over the border. Um. You know you're across the board because the roads are better, because the county council does, does walk down there in Northern Ireland. They don't do walk up here. Um, but then again, they don't walk up here. I don't know if I'm <clears throat> but anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more and bye.